Jefferson County, Alabama filed for the largest municipal bankruptcy in U.S. history on Wednesday after a last-ditch effort to restructure its more than $3 billion in debt fell through. Reuters Atlanta Bureau Chief Matthew Big is in Birmingham, and he joins us on the phone with the latest. So, Matthew, what are you hearing happened at these closed-door meetings? I mean, what was the impasse? How did this go down? Hi, Jen. There's a couple of things that... Um there's a couple of things which um, which seem to have uh, produ produced an insurmountable uh, blockage. Um, the first one is that the uh, county commission, the five uh, people, uh, elected officials who run county affairs, came to the conclusion that the creditors had changed the terms of the tentative agreement that was signed in September. Um, that agreement uh, reduced the total amount of sewer bond debt from $3.14 billion to around $2.05 billion. And um, they had hoped or they had believed that the final agreement would have stuck to that final number. Um, but earlier this week, um, according to county commission officials, um, the creditors came back with a number that was $140 million bigger than the uh, agreed number in September. And the commission felt that this was uh, an unacceptable change. They had already been reluctant to sign off on the initial figure. So that was one major problem. The second one was um, to do with the state legislature, which would have had to meet to ratify um, a law or pass a law to enable the county to raise a new uh, tax, which would have helped its general fund. Um, and it didn't look as though that special session was going to be called, and it didn't look as though the law was going to be passed, and that was an integral part of the deal. So um, the county, because of those two reasons, made the decision that they reached the last resort and uh, pulled the trigger on a bankruptcy filing. So then what are the next steps from here? I mean, is this at all a, a negotiating ploy? Is this definitely a, a done deal? This is more than a negotiating ploy. For the last three and a half years, the county has faced a crippling sewer debt crisis and a shortfall in its general fund. And they've really been struggling to avoid bankruptcy. The business community wanted to avoid it. The uh, county commission, uh, for the most part, absolutely wanted to avoid it. And the state uh, government, particularly the governor, was desperate to avoid it. Um, they've come to the conclusion that bankruptcy is what's going to happen, and that is what's going to happen. So there's two next steps, obviously. Okay. The first one is that there's a court hearing tomorrow. I'm uh, sorry, this morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, and, and a state judge has been, uh, sorry, a judge has been assigned to, um, to oversee the bankruptcy process. The second thing is that the county now has to propose a new uh, overall settlement for the county, both its bond debt and its general fund. And that will lead to more negotiations with creditors and a decision eventually will be made by a judge. What kind of impact do you think this would have on residents of Jefferson County or of residents of Alabama? I mean, obviously, it's a black eye for, for more than just the county in a way. Yeah, I was talking um, very early this morning to uh, people standing in a long line outside the courthouse on a very cold morning um, because they come to renew their car tags. And they were standing in a line because county services have been cut. And so uh, it takes longer to get your car tag done. Um, and county services have been cut because of this crisis. Residents fear a couple of things. They fear more job losses, and they fear a, a, a loss in county services, which have already been trimmed. There is a wider uh, potential for damage to um, Alabama. The first one is the possibility of uh, a, a contagion effect, the raising of the cost of borrowing in the bond market for neighboring counties. And the second one is, as you said, um, a black eye or the tarnishment of the state's overall fiscal reputation. And that is one thing that Governor Robert Bentley wanted to avoid. Matthew Big, Atlanta Bureau Chief for us uh, down in Birmingham. I know you will uh, be having more for us throughout the day, especially with this 11 a.m. Eastern hearing uh, coming up. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed. I'm Jen Rogers, and this is Reuters.